mass shootings, school bus crashes, two vehicle NVA involving bus, multiple patients. They are the kind of events emergency responders hope they'll never see in their own communities. But if they happen, crews want to be ready. With the mass casualties that, that have been happening around the country, we just want to make sure that we're prepared for it. And uh, really, there's, there's no better way to get prepared than to go out and actually do it. In this exercise, they had a scenario where two school buses collided. There was a fire. I got one green in here. And 30 victims to treat. What, what we're doing is when they get on scene, is we're getting triage, which is just a fancy word of saying sorting. So the first thing they do is they start sorting patients. And they have patients that ranged from being deceased on arrival to very critical to walking wounded that are able to help. And while neither the fire nor the bodies were real, the organization and urgency required by emergency responders to successfully work the scene absolutely was. This gets us used to, to involving multiple agencies like dispatch, police, fire, EMS, contacting the hospitals, uh, utilizing our trauma system in Arkansas, um, utilizing our air helicopters and uh, surrounding cities for mutual aid like Rogers and Bentonville. So we kind of incorporate all that together and then practice it. That's what we did today. Cranford says they try to make these exercises as realistic as possible, but obviously there's certain factors like in this case, it being a school bus, there would inevitably be emotional parents on the scene. And then there's us, the media. They have a designated person that communicates with us. And then today's a nice sunny day, but the weather, that's always going to be a factor. These are high stress scenes, according to Cranford. And he says that's why they train so much. In Bella Vista, I'm Christopher Redfern, 4029 News.